Good evening, everyone. Now that we've talked about practically everything that there is to talk about prepared speeches, let's talk about the second component of all Toastmasters meetings. My favorite, table topics. Table topics, if you're not familiar with Toastmasters, are impromptu speeches. They are excellent practice for something as extreme as a job interview to something as casual as a dinner conversation. When you least expect it, you will be asked your thoughts, your opinions, your perspectives on XYZ topic. Or what if you're in an elevator, you're starting a business, then in comes Elon Musk. And he's feeling very generous today. What must you say in that elevator to pitch the idea to him <laughs> that he should invest in your business? Since this is a rather impromptu video, I pulled up conversationstarters.com, which will generate a topic for me to talk about. And then I'll discuss the things that were going through my mind as I was giving that little speech. Table topics last from one to two minutes. Let's press the button and see in one take what I'll be talking about. What is one thing that you would like to change about the world? Oh, what is one thing that I would like to change about the world? Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, I have had the pleasure of visiting China. China is a gorgeous country with beautiful people and a lovely culture. I'm afraid, though, that they have a severe problem when it comes to pollution. They are a little bit behind in terms of wildlife conservation and seeing animals as, as beings that share the planet like we do. They are excellent in a whole bunch of other topics. Sadly, this is one of their weaknesses that I feel strongly about. It is not unique to China. We see this in countries where power is generated by non-sustainable resources like coal and wood, which give their communities the energy they require, but at the cost of harming the air, harming the rivers, harming the forests. If I was conqueror of the world, I would share the resources to these countries. That way, their environmental abilities can rival their technologic, their ambitions, whatever it is that they are strong in. Mr. Topics Master. <laughs> so let's talk about what was going on through my mind. The first thing I did was nothing at all. It was a 15, 10 second pause where I was gathering my thoughts. Generally, the timer will not count you for that until you say your first word. During this time, I was more or less structuring the speech in my head as to what points I wanted to deliver. Um, starting with my introduction where I say, well, I don't want to blame China right away, right? I want to say, hey, I've been to China. I enjoyed my time here. While it has these powerful strengths, this is the one area where it's lacking. Um, then I expanded upon that in a minute or so. Then I wrapped it around offering a solution to that problem. Now, looking back at it, I could have mentioned something like, say, global warming, or we only have one planet. It's something it was, they recently declared uh, the, the Chinese paddlefish extinct, is with what I was reading uh, online not too long ago. Yeah, some, some more relevant topics to... Oh, shit. Hello, hello. 
Thank you. We're, we're doing good deed. Awesome. Uh, what time? Right now. Oh shit, uh, give me five minutes. All right, all right. I was just getting food and the call Javi. Okay, I'll, I'll get a beer. All right, perfect, sounds good. Bye-bye. I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons tonight. <laughs> That's basically all there is to impromptu speaking. Use your first few seconds to get compose yourself, gather your thoughts, form a rough outline in your head, and... Swim your way through it. Uh, some mistakes that I've seen off the top of my head involve things like where someone doesn't exactly commit to the speech, where they might uh, laugh out of nervousness, or perhaps they go way <laughs> off topic. They don't answer the question. Ah! There they they ramble on and on. They go out tangent, 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 tangent. No, uh, you are there to deliver a speech about the question that you were asked. D the only person who is given a question, given a couple of minutes to answer it, and doesn't answer the question, is a politician, <laughs> a politician at a debate. And you do not want to be like a politician at a debate. Yucky. <laughs> because everyone, wherever it is that you may be, whether it's at a job interview, at the dinner table with your friends and family, if you're given a question or if you're given an opportunity to speak on a topic, you must be concise, be clear, be mindful of everything that we've discussed in this series so far so that you could give a succinct but powerful answer. With that I say, have a good one, take care, speak well, and kick ass.